I was doing before. I pressed the camera, I thought I was ready. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing uh, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, you don't have to be a water sign for it to resonate. If the read found you, it just may be for you. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Not everything is for you, unless it feels good to you. Uh, you have to be 18 years or older to watch my reads. I do talk a little dirty. I may be pulling some sexy cards if I am drawn to do so. So if you get offended by dirty talk or nudity in the cards, just find your way out of the read at that point. You have to be 18 years or older to watch my reads because I do talk a little dirty. Uh, booking your reads, you could head over to rootsandrewards.com to request a read. To purchase the reads, you have to go over to Venmo, Jesse Ray 21 Cash App, Money Sign, Roots and Rewards. And if you don't have those two, you could message me on Instagram at Roots and Rewards uh, for PayPal email. All right, so water signs, what is going on? Some announcements. I am joining the Soul Sisters reality show this coming week. So I will be out of town. So if anybody is booking reads this week, you won't get it until uh, probably mid to mid next week, depending where you're falling on my read list, because I am working down that still. All right, so let's see and i will keep you informed of the link where to watch the show once it's done filming and uh, being edited all right so let's see some moonology cards i'm digging these cards this week so what's happening in the next seven days for you water signs or whoever stumbled upon this read what's happening please smash that like button share subscribe and leave some feedback, some comments. It helps circulate the account. If you're unable to donate, that's the best way to do it. If you just put a little emoji in the bottom, I'm thankful for that. Show me some love over there. All right, what's going on with the watcher? Nothing will come of this. All right, that same card came out in the earth sign read. So you may be dealing with an earth sign void. You're voiding something. All right, what are you avoiding? Your dreams need a practical plan. All right, so maybe you're not thinking very practical. Maybe you're in some type of illusions here. You could be dealing with a Taurus energy. You got a lot here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, that's you. Work through your fears. So your fears may be holding you back. Believe in the impossible, I love it. All right, so maybe you have a, a limited belief system here. Your fears are holding you back and the, the impossible is possible for you. Uh, show the world the real you. So maybe you have fear of judgment of what, how people see you or what people are saying about you or putting on a facade masking who you truly are. So you're needing to open up and just be you, be your true authentic self. There's nobody better than you. We're all trying to live all life. Uh, don't be in competition with anyone else besides yourself. Yeah, communication is key. So maybe you're needing to express some of your feelings and um, your ideas. Maybe you have some ideas that you're harboring or, you know, emotions, thoughts that you're needing to be more expressive about. All right, so let's see. What's the water signs needed here for the next seven days? What's going to be happening in the next seven days for the water signs or whoever's watching? Next seven days, karmic relationship. All right. There's a karmic relationship that you've been dealing with. This person wasn't showing you their full deck of cards. You could be married to this person or in a long-term commitment with them. Uh, this relationship is ending. The coffin is here. So there is separation and endings. You could feel uh, triggered by this person, by them. Um, may, this person may have ha had options or just not showing you uh, the care that you're wanting from them. All right. So there is no movement with this person. Could be a cancer or that's you. So there's no movement in this relationship here. 
So that's why nothing's gonna come out of this partnership. This, this seems like similar to the earth sign. So it might be the same collective watching here. All right, so what's going on? Karmic partner feeling triggered, turmoil, resentment. Yeah, you're letting go. You're letting go of all of that. You're letting go of uh, feeling left out in the cold left behind from this person it, it crippled you when this person stopped moving towards you um possibly this person cut you off and set boundaries and became very uh distant with you this person um has has distanced themselves from you to be able to uh grow within their own energy all right this person was coming up immature uh, maybe this person is younger than you. They were coming up very youthful. And now this person is trying to grow from that. They're trying to mature. So this person acknowledges where they went wrong. All right. Where they went wrong with you. Not showing you enough. Right? Um, this wedding, the union. All right. Um... So right here, the Three of Wands is in reverse. So it looks like this person isn't looking to come towards you at this moment in time. This is what the energy is. They're not looking to uh, commit, right? This person is no longer um, feeling, or maybe this is you. You're no longer going to feel nostalgic about this person or give this person an offer. Um, or worry about what you have offered to them. So I think you really are, are letting go and you're understanding that it's best to let this person go at this point. All right, five of pentacles in reverse. With the three of cups, they could have put you in a third party situation. They could have been cheating or uh, choosing their job or friends over you or yeah, the family members over you. So the Queen of Swords, you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra in particular. Uh, I don't feel like this person is um, watching right now. They're not stalking. If you feel like this person is watching you and waiting, I don't feel like this person is doing that. Or that's you. You're no longer waiting or stalking their pages. You're not um, wanting to communicate as much. See, they, they're off in their own world to heal. They're healing from it. You're healing from it. Dealing with an Aquarius, possibly. Yeah, you're healing from it. You're done taking risks with this person. You're not wanting to risk anymore. You've risked enough in this relationship. So turning your back away from the long-term commitment... Okay, turning your back away from options. So this person's turning their back away from options. So they could have put you in a third party situation, but it's looking like they don't have options at this moment. So they, they're choosing not to have options, you or other people. They're not, they're not waiting on options. This person may be like into their business, not really into romance. The effort, they're not putting the effort in. They stop putting the effort in with you. And you're stopping the effort being put into this relationship because you just don't want to be juggled anymore. You don't want to be a second, uh, second option for this person or yo-yo back and forth. Unclear, way too much. Spirit, way too much. Page of Swords in reverse. Not stalking, not watching, not researching. Trying to become wiser with the Hierophant. There's that Taurus that you could be dealing with. So it looks like you're both wisening, wisening up. You're focused on yourselves and your faith. So having faith that everything is going to work out in divine timing. That there are new beginnings to come in, even though chapters have been closed for you guys. Uh, both of you are in manifestation mode right now. You're coming up as the magician. You're working. You're working out the details of how to become better and, and healthier 
with the star card, how to heal the past. Um, it may have felt like this person was being strategic with you, that they were manipulating you. All right. You could be dealing with a uh, Aries, Aquarius, Leo here. So the strength card is in reverse. Right now, this person is, isn't feeling very strong in their energy. Maybe this is also you. I feel like you guys may be mirroring each other in some ways because I keep going back and forth between the energies. Okay, what I'm getting with this, with the Seven of Cups and the Strength card, this person may have had a very big ego. It may be, they made you feel that um, they were manipulating you because their ego and their pride, they're, they, they've learned their lesson as far as their pride and ego uh, with these options that they were dealing with. This person is understanding that This person didn't leave you for someone else. They left you because their insecurities and their vulnerability, they left to, to try to get validation outside of themselves from other people or other jobs. They, they, they were looking for that rush of make me feel good because they didn't feel good within themselves. Okay. But it looks like they're they're letting their ego down. Now they they're like, no, I don't want, I don't need the options to pet me. I have to look within myself and heal myself. Why uh, I chose to put myself in a third party situation, where I chose to put my partner in the third party situation and not stay committed to you. All right, so lessons, they're learning lessons, karmic relationship, this karmic is learning lessons. I think this person still has love for you. I definitely do feel like they have love for you, but they're just, they're releasing it. So the effort, not working on it, oh fuck, could be a Pisces. Where the hell did that go? No to coop. All right. So they may be running away a little bit from you or just, you know, staying a little distant and hidden. So the hangman is here. It fell in, in reverse. So that's awesome. You're coming out of this uh, stagnant energy feeling like, like this person is dangling you around. There's no movement. There's going to be movement forward. Movement is coming. Uh, okay, movement's coming, but I don't feel like this person is coming towards you with the Knight of Wands in reverse. So this person uh, has lost maybe passion for this connection. Okay. All right, so the Hermit. Yeah, they, they've isolated. They're looking within themselves, become wiser, and see which path uh, really is for them. Could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. So they're going to stay distant in the next week. You're not going to hear too much from them. Uh, yeah, no clear, no, uh, yeah, no communication. Ace of Swords in reverse. So the communication's not going to be there, but that's okay because it's going to become balanced. You're going to feel better um, having space away from this person. You're going to feel like it's more balanced between the two. Not being, not feeling hurt by them, but just understanding why they had to go uh, off to explore new things, different things. It doesn't have anything to do with um, you as a person. You know, you're still valuable, even though this person isn't coming towards you. I think they they're hiding some aspects of themselves or they they're unraveling some aspects of themselves, learning themselves learning that they they do come off a little bit uh, sneaky in their energy or withheld moon card pisces cancer libra you could do, be dealing with 
All right, so they're gonna they're gonna stay quiet and not really tell you too much about what they're doing. That's what they're hiding, what, what exactly they're doing with their personal life or with their personal time. All right, so what's the outcome? Next seven days outcome, indecisiveness. So they're choosing not to come forward because they're, they're indecisive, they're up in their head. And um, at this point, they're not seeing uh, abundance here. They're not seeing the wheel turn in their favor to their liking. And they're trying to fix themselves. The wounded warrior is in reverse. So this person is trying very hard to uh, gain a hold of how they can fix themselves and their relationships to gain victory. They're trying to... Um, they're wanting recognition. They're still wanting recognition, but they're not wanting recognition for um, they're not wanting they're not wanting people to feel bad for them. They want to feel they want to feel good in their energy. They want to feel accomplished in their energy, and they don't want the drama or fighting with you. They want to reverse any any chaos that has occurred in this relationship. All right, so that's good. So this, the next seven days, I would say, guys, focus on yourselves, which it looks like. Focus on gaining your stability back and go from there. Let's see if there's anything else coming in. All right, so is anybody else approaching my water signs in the next week? What are they doing in the next week? Air signs is gonna be up next. Doing both of you guys today. It's coming up, see? You're gonna feel balanced, you're gonna feel better. Libra. You may be signing some contracts here that are uh, spending some money spending big money on something buying something big but it's gonna make you happy so eh. money comes money goes you're a hard worker so you'll gain your money back uh, this is just saying that it's gonna be uh, also for some of you guys you weren't really seeing your value with this person and now you're starting to see what you bring to the table and seeing that you weren't being prioritized by this person. But you're wanting to be someone's priority, right? Yeah. All right. So there's some kind of uh, messaging, communication. Someone's coming in to talk to you about this contract. Are you a lawyer talking to you? Are you talking to a lawyer? Or someone... Maybe financial, like, financial person. All right, so this communication. What's this communication coming in? Communication regarding money, holding money, saving money. Hmm. All right, so these, these two cards with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse like this maybe you should hold off on signing any type of contracts this week. It may not be beneficial for you. Your intuition could be telling you, no, 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 no. Don't do it. Because there's something better here for you. Sorry if that was like, I hope it's making sense. But I feel like hold back, hold back this offer. Don't go forward with this offer. Mm, okay. All right. What's going on next week? Yeah, you're going to hold back. You're going to hold back and then 
You're going to go forward towards something else pretty quickly. What are you going towards? Okay, patience. Because you're losing patience. You're going after some kind of opportunity that has been slow. But it's picking up speed. And you no longer have to be patient or tempering yourself. All right, so what is this Ace of Pentacles? See, you're standing your ground. You're knowing what you bring to the table. So if this is a job opportunity or if you're going to buy something, if you're going to buy a home, a car, uh, do renovations in your house, whatever it is, you're going to hold back from, from one offer and then you're going to get launched into another offer that is more beneficial for you. It's more in your liking, uh, more, you know, something that you truly want that you're manifesting, all right? Because you're coming up as the empress. So you know what you're doing. You're just gonna sit and allow things uh, to maneuver around you. It's gonna be shown to you what's meant for you will be for you. 10 of cups, Woohoo! what did I say? Buying a home possibly? If you're looking for a home, I'm a real estate agent here in New Jersey with One Stop Realty Shop. So looking to buy, sell, rent, hit me up. I could also be uh, an out-of-state referral agent for you ten of cups you're getting what you want communication comes in happy home happy life so even though you're leaving one partnership it doesn't mean that you're not going to have another partnership here or another uh, thing that makes you happy maybe this is not a partner maybe this is you know living on your own living on your own for the first time in your life maybe you are in a in a relationship in a, a, you know, the wedding rings this year, maybe you were married for 10 plus years. And now you, you're, you're going on your own. You're going on your own, you're moving ahead. All right, so four of pentacles. See, it does work for you. It does work out for you. Four of pentacles, that's the four of pentacles. This person was maybe, you know, yeah, okay. So this person may have been held back, greedy with their time and attention not really doing nice things for you and they cause a lot of heartbreak all right three of swords could be a third party situation but there was a lot of heartbreak and sadness around this uh it's it seems like somebody wasn't feeling that um there was enough effort or compassion or communication in this relationship to keep keep it going no longer having celebrations with one another Someone was also feeling very smug in their energy over those options. Knowing that they have multiple options, it was like, you know, a notch under their belt. But now they're not feeling that way anymore. They don't feel that they need a bunch of options to make them happy. They're not sure of what's going to make them happy right now, but they know that, that that ain't it. Having seven or more, seven to nine options, they're like, no, I don't need it. Doesn't look like you guys are going to stay single very long. With the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You've never been on your own. You've never been on your own with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse either. Uh, that's independence, living alone, making your own money. Um, just being, being by yourself. You've never done it. Now it's time to enjoy the time on your own. You're coming out of a commitment out of commitment you may need to go to you may need some counseling here dealing with this karmic relationship that ended you could be holding on to harboring a lot of uh, resentment or illusions and you're needing to seek higher higher guidance right uh, maybe you're setting up a read with me going going to counseling therapy but it's showing up that you are the empress but there's something that's still you're needing guidance for you know even the most healed the most wise people we still need guidance right sometimes we can't figure it out on our own just a different opinion or a different perspective or just having somebody hear us uh can help us ten of cups ten of cups this is ten of cups ten of cups 
Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're going forward. You're becoming very passionate in yourself. You, you're seeing yourself in high regard. You're sitting on your throne and you're saying, all right, how, what do I have to do to bring in my abundance? What actions do I have to take? You do have your eye on someone here. You may have your eye on an empress. Yeah, you, you have an eye on a soulmate, soulmate partnership. You probably felt like this past person was a soulmate to you. You guys probably had a pretty good relationship at one point, but something occurred, right? Their options occurred and it, it threw off the whole relationship. By them being insecure and lacking confidence in themselves. So the Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups is the King of Cups. So there you are, the water sign. You're holding your offer back and you're becoming more emotionally balanced for yourself. Good. There you go. You have new emotional beginnings here. You got great cards here. You got the Ten of Cups. You got the Ace of Cups. You got the Soulmate here, the Two of Cups. So now you're filling into yourself after having a lot of conflict and feeling beaten down uh, by your own thoughts or by this person of how they treated you, what happened in the relationship. Yeah, see, Seven of Cups in reverse. They don't have options anymore. Maybe you don't have options right now. Maybe you're not having options, but that's okay because you don't want to be stuck, right? You don't want to be stuck by options. You don't want to be bound to anybody at this point because you came out of a relationship that you were in for a very long time, maybe 10, uh, 10 years, seven years, 17 years uh, with the seven of cups and the 10 of cups. Pisces. There will be a lover that comes in in the future. Um, that's Pisces, right? getting Aries from that I don't know, I'm getting Aries Gemini there is a lover here but right now you're working on yourself and you're not really wanting to go into another relationship right now there may be somebody coming in to sex you up and you know <laughs> have a good time with that sparks your interest but it looks like you're not going further in a commitment right now because you just don't want the drama you don't want the chaos of the relationship because it's too burdensome for you right now. You got a lot of responsibilities and uh, you don't want the headache of uh, a partnership right now. You do want the romance, uh, which it looks like you're gonna get, you know, a little bit of uh, someone's coming in to stroke your ego a little bit, sure. All right, so let's see. Sorry, I'm talking really quick because I got a lot of reads to do. All right, so uh, you're needing to reach out to your mom. Your mom wants to talk to you. She misses you. Mom, L, M, uh, W, M, L, W, M, Mo. Hello, Mo. You may be meeting this person at noon know this person eight years or in the next eight days you have that new person coming in uh, birth date could be uh, March 8th August 3rd you may be going back to school you have a lot of homework um, you may be looking at houses in a FEMA area maybe hurricane route so by the water, Hugh, Eugene, Eugene, someone's huge. Someone got big muscles or big knockers, nice titties. 10 years, ten, no, yeah, 10 years, 10 years, 18 years, 13 years, uh, March 10th, August 10th, March 18th, August 13th, could be 38. 30, born in 80, born in 81, could be 31. Lois, E E C, C C, Ni, Neva, mm. so 
stomach gone. Hmm. You look damn good. Looking nice. Looking muscular. Hey. All right. Low. Okay. Your energy could be low right now with dealing with this person because you're all up in your head. But once you figure out that there's no reason, there's nothing good that's going to occur from being in your head, then you're going to feel better. You could be Dominican, you could be a doctor or dealing with a doctor. You could be PMSing right now, PMS, 15 years, May 1st, August 15th, August 5th, March 15th. Born in 85, you could be 58, 35. Um, you could have a son uh, named uh, G, a G named son, Gary, Gabriel, Gabby, uh, Neem, Neem, N E E M, Nep, N E P, Nep, Nep. Uh, you could be going to. Um, Napa Valley or Naples, Florida. Um, someone may have MS. Um, crepes. Someone likes crepes. You could be French. You may have a, a huge family. You may have a lot of siblings or your parents have a lot of siblings. Could be from Quebec. Um, and and. The Italian, uh, 60, June 5th, 86, June 8th, August 6th, June, uh, March 6th, August 16th, March 16th. S uh, something may have happened in 05 with this person, K.A. Cap. Maybe a Capricorn that you're dealing with. MS, MS, Miss Miss. Could be the same sex couple. Uh, what did I, did I tell you? It could be Dominican Republic, from Dominican Republic. Uh, you're, you live on a road. Like your address is like, it's a road, R-D, road. Um, you could work at Lowe's. That's what I got. You wanted someone to take you as is. MP. MP. You could MVP. You could be good at sports. Your person may like sports a lot. Could be from PA. EP. Becoming happier in your energy. I like it. I like it a lot. Anything else? I think that's it. Mount. You could live on a mountain. You could be very petite, also very small, short, shorter. You could have you. You could like red. R E Z. Red. Uh, C. Cuss. You may curse a lot. Well, your person sixteen may be a special date for you, 16 or January 6th or June 1st. You could have a CRV, drive a CRV. All right, let's see, self-care, and then I'll get you guys out of here. What you could do to help higher your frequency. All right, so you're needing to listen to your intuition. You are growing. You are becoming intuitive, more intuitive every single day. You're needing to get out and dance. Maybe you go out dancing, have a good time with friends, become a little bit freer in your energy. Enjoy your life. Embrace your life. All right, what else? And plan a trip. Plan a vacation. So you may be going away, maybe doing a day trip, day spa, 
Maybe you're needing to get out of your environment to gain some clarity on your situation, changing up your perspective a little bit. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Hope you enjoyed the read. Hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. And I do appreciate you guys uh, liking, subscribing, donations, bookings on a daily basis. Continue to like, subscribe, uh, write, write me some feedback. If you want me to do the cards a little different, I'll take that too. Someone did say... Um, maybe trying to zone into the energy a little differently with my shuffle. So I will try that in the air sign read. I forgot it on this read. Uh, the way I shuffle is just the way I shuffle, but I'll, I'll switch it up for you guys just to, just to change shit up. So we'll go there and, uh, that's it. So keep yourself in high regard. Enjoy your weekend and I will see you again next week. Bye guys.